Hi, uh, you're watching The Luna Show, and right now we are at the pier. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about a little histories about our own experiences at the pier and what the pier means to the gay community. Right now I have Jazzy Alizé who's going to tell us a little bit about his experiences and years at the pier. <laughs> Hi, Jazzy. Hey, guys. What's up? What's going on? Nothing. Just hanging out at the pier with my mm -hmm. sister. Hi, sister. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? Right, enjoying the weather. Hi, Eric. And Eric. I'm hanging out with Eric, too. So, um, the pier is like an institution for gay youth, and it's like, you know, Fears has done brilliant work in trying to fight for the rights for young black um, and Latino youth to hang out, and, you know, because this has been a home for many of us. What yeah. do you think about that? Well, I think that a lot of people come hanging at the pier because it's right off of Crystal Street. A lot of like the gay youth um, and gay older gay people, lots of people in the LGBTQ community, even some straight people, just have so many memories out here in the pier, and they come out and they hang out. And some people, you know what I mean, have m crazy moments where they at Pride. Like look at Pride. Pride is a major thing that happens on the pier. People come out here and they have moments with their friends and their relatives and people who they feel are relatives and stuff like that. And I just think it's a memorable place. I'm trying to think of the, how to put it in words because it's homely. I like the way you said it. it's homely. It's legendary. It's been here for what since since the gay rights movements. People have been coming the out here. So even before that, exactly the beginning. It's a part of this culture that we have here as New Yorkers, as the um, LGBTQ community of New York, coming down here and spending time here. On Tell the me pier. one of your favorite moments of coming to the pier. One of my favorite moments of coming to the pier is um, when I have seen a friend of mine that I haven't seen in a very long time. Like you know, you have those friends that you just love and you miss so much, but they're not around. And I hadn't seen them in a very long time. They were actually right here, and there was like a little quote unquote ball going on in the pier because people were boging out and carrying oh, they, on. they do it here? A lot of the young people. So this is the pier, everybody, so a you can see it. This is the second pier. This is the second pier. The first one is over there, if you can see. <laughs> it's a little over there. A lot of the young people. But, um, so we came over, I was coming over here, and um, I was walking over here, you know, just to sit down and relax, as we do on the second pier. And, um, they, I saw them, and I was like, oh my God, and they came up to me, and we just hugged each other, and we started crying because we had went through so much before we missed each other, or before we separated, you know that is. So um, that was my most memorable moment. So you Even think that the safe. peers for young people, you know, that we have the right to be here? Yes, as definitely. youth of color? I think as youth of color, as a youth of the G LGBTQ community, we have the right to be here and the right to have fun here at any age. Some people think, oh, the pier's naughty and the pier's fierce because things are going on out here, but we all have memories on the pier. We all can relate to using this as some sort of outlet or some sort of way to just have fun or get away from it all. It's at the end of New York City, well, the side of New York City, you know what I mean, off of the river. It's a beautiful place to come, so it's free to come here, and I think it should always be free to come here. And um, that's about that. Okay, what well, you make it, honestly. Yeah, it really is. And uh, what I want to say about the pier is that, see, I'm from a, a different generation of the, what the peers are today. And, and my generation of peer is, you know, the old peers that you see in the movie Paris is Burning. And I remember the first time that I saw the pier, it was like this, it's almost like an enigma. Like, you, you're, you're drawn to it. Like, like it's almost like, like your second home in a way, you know? And I remember that it was covered with young people and you know everybody of course was youth of color and you had legends and icons everybody was hanging together and it was like one space one environment and all these different generations of, of, of gay people and it became sort of like a second home and this is where a lot of us hung out met up before a club you know it was a place where kids could play uh, it was a place that um, you know um, you could see Venus Extravaganza with her little boom box. You could see Peppa La Beja with one of her effects before a ball. You could see, you know, the girls coming here with the trophies in their hands at night um, because they just won. <laughs> you know, things like that. And, you know, I miss those old peers. And I'm talking about um, between 88 and 95. The old peers were brilliant because of that. And it was sort of a magnet to young people. And the peers are important to us. And I hope that the fight that um, Fierce is doing uh, with trying to preserve the peer for youth of color uh, and, and the people from the community, you know, I know they're building new, is gentrification. They're bring, putting new high rises behind us. And, you know, people, of course, yeah, they're spending millions of dollars for their homes, mm -hmm. but it's still a place where young kids of color need to go. Do you think that youth of color uh, deserve to hang out at the peers, even though this is not their neighborhoods? 
See, that's the interesting part of it. A lot of people feel, oh, you don't live around here. You're not from here. But a lot of people are from neighborhoods where they probably can't hang out and be the way they want to be and be as open and express themselves however they may choose to because they'll probably get bashed for it or they'll probably get hated on for it or whatever the case may be. A lot of people have different reasons for coming out here. But I just think it's a place of just so much freedom. And it's a place that's been connected specifically to the LGBTQ community for a while. So, I mean, I just I think they have the right to come out here. I think that people should behave and they shouldn't act out while they're out here on Christopher Street and in the village. Like, that's naughty. But um, besides that, if people, you know what I mean, can maintain their behaviors and just really have a genuine good time, then I think it's a place that can be here forever just to bring everyone happiness. Yeah, it brings everybody together. Yeah. And that's what I like about the pier. Yeah, it's cool. It's like no matter what house, what... You know what what type of mm -hmm. gay you are like you belong i mean everywhere you here's a you neutral problems, space but it is it should be a hello space. and we have ronanica milan here veronica hey. what do you think about the peers do you think that uh young youth of color should continue to hang out the pier and it be a part of them well i love the pier well now it's not like back in the days when i first came out like four six years ago when i was a baby it was so much friendlier now it's you gotta walk around and see who's throwing shade, so you can throw it right back. Like, hello, you know. That's what I. Do you do. think um, that people, you know, who live in the high rises and all of that, do you think that um, um, they should like mind their business and let young kids hang out, or do you think that we really should get out of their neighborhood? I don't know because they, you know, I think they have a point because we be talking a little too loud sometimes, honey. You know, in your neighborhood when you're trying to sleep. Tell me you don't get over it when your neighbor's giving you too much closeness and you're like, girl, I'm trying to sleep, so that's how they feel. You gotta think like them. But I don't know, I think they should just, you know, mind their business for a little bit. You know? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she has no clue. <laughs> Hi. Hi, what's going on, what's going Luna? On? So you're having a birthday coming? I am a birthday and um, a birthday party. You should all come. It's the 27th of April at the Grace Hotel. Oh my god. This it's um <laughs> Yeah, you should all come. Definitely. All of you girls. Just all of y'all come storm the function. See, as you can see the peers it's it's for everybody. And as 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 as, as, a, as a as a woman, what do you think the peers are? <laughs> To you, and when you come out here, what, is, what does it mean to you? Just enjoy the environment, enjoy the people that's coming here, and just having a good time with everybody. Do you like the peacefulness of yes. it? Yes. Very peaceful, very, very peaceful. nice. To get together, enjoy mm -hmm. friends. For somebody who was from out of state, what do you think about the peers? Because you've heard and, and saw it in Paris is Bernie and stuff like that. What do you think about the peers now that you're in the space where legends used to hang out? Yes, legends. Um, well, like she said, you know, it's very relaxing. It's uh, it's an experience, you know, being here. And um, I've always heard about it. And now I'm actually being able to experience it. You know, it's, it's fun. It's cool. I like it, you know. I like every time I come out here, I always have a good time. So, you know. That's cool. I wish my friends back home. I like that there's young kids playing at the piers now. My peers back in the day, you would never see a child playing. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching The Luna Show and stay tuned for some more. <laughs>